Hello guys, Jazz the Gamer here, and we're back with the next episode, which is basically an update of everything that has been going on in this world. And as you see, we have done a lot back here. Uh, let's take a walk, show you um, a tour of the place. So here is our lovely bamboo farm here, along with our reed farm or sugarcane farm. We have a couple crops growing. Uh, this is just all temporary. We've already moved it up to the top. Um, pumpkins, which for now is temporary, but we'll probably be here for a while. Cactus, also. And we have our melons over there and our cocoa beans, because we are in a jungle, remember. And over here is also a former wheat farm that um, we had going on in the beginning stages of the game. We also have back here is a spider farm. Let me show you that. So right uh, over here in this area is our spider farm. Um, this is you see this the leakage right there. So they're right above us. And the reason I'm here is because I felt that if I'm going to be AFK. I might as well put it to some good use. So we have a little farm back here that I can uh, harvest, and while I wait for these spiders to drop. And if we come out this way, and up here, here are the spiders, right here. Our lovely spiders that drop. Uh, well, that's been happening a lot lately, those uh, spider, not spider, spider jockeys, yeah, with the skeleton on top, have been dropping a lot. There's one right there, he's about to suffocate. Um, you take a little bit of damage because they shoot you with their arrows, but that's about it. Drops come in here, and uh, when it gets full, I take them all out. Throw them inside each chest here. This leads to the top. Um, it leads to a portal that goes to the nether. But if, let's just take a look anyways. Eventually, it will do more than just lead to the nether. Uh, hopefully I don't die. So I don't think I have... No, I don't. I'm not going fast for some reason. Well, I didn't die. I almost died. That was bad. Uh, it just comes up here to the nether portal, but eventually it will lead in all directions to connect um, everything that we'll be building. And I'll show you guys that pretty soon. Let's head back down. Whoop. Okay, so we're back into the cave system. And now we're going to head up to the top and show you what we are been working on at the top for our yurt village in the jungle. Yep, there's the mineshaft. Sinalupe went through there and explored all that. I believe she explored all those. She explored a very big majority of it um, to get us out some resources. Um, but here's our jungle. Let's go across this water real quick. See if you see anything special. Um, no, you can't see anything from here. But what I have been working on most recently is this here because the jungle is, is so thick and it's hard to traverse through it. So I've been starting on this little path here. I will look better in time. Like I said, I've been working on it. Path that goes all the way around here and leads to the first farm, which is the beet farm. Over here. It's a lot longer than I thought it would be. But we get a good scene, view of everything that's going on here. And then boom, over here. This door to success right here. Boom. I built it because opportunity wasn't knocking. And so here's our first farm here. Beet farm. And then it leads into this area here, which takes us up to the sheeps, I believe. And... Yep, here we are. So, yeah, you can hear them already. Sheeps. Right inside here. Idea is just to have um, them in here. You grab your wheat. Come up here. Feed them. Yep, feed them here. And then... Um, they die from over over cramping is it called? There's a word for it. it. Might not be over cramping, but it overpopulates one block. Can't have more than like 25 in the area. And then we come through here. We have a couple villagers. These guys are not the right type for the jungle, I believe. Cause I think there's a specific jungle color or jung jungle outfit. But I took them from the plains and brought them here, that's why. So maybe we'll start a farm so we can get the, the proper um, uniform, I guess you would call it, for them. But that's the main trading hall in the middle. 
And then in all four directions, north, east, west, and south, we have the cows over this way. We have the pigs that way and the chickens that way. So cows and pigs work the same way as the sheep. Chickens are a little different. Chickens uh, rely on the dispenser system. That's already full. I, I, so I don't have it set up to where it automatically sorts the eggs out. So I have to come over here and do it automatically, but that's okay. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's take some of these out. Yes, I have a lot of wool in my inventory because that's for our next project. You'll see that. If you watch the stream, you will see me working on it. If not, you'll see the next update. And I can't guarantee when the next update will be, so watch the stream. And we just throw the eggs in. Why do I have... Whatever. So these are not supposed to be in here. I will take them out now. And behind our neat, uh, that's Beast Sister's house right there. This is the storage room over there. That's Cinelup has been working on that. And behind or below each one of these farms is where you'll find the food specific to each animal. So we'll come down here again. And boom. So each farm is designed the same. So each house... Hey, why does this look like this here? Who did this? I am not happy. Nothing should be spawning here unless someone came up through here and did too much jumping when they came out. Which is very possible. Let's replant. There we go. So, uh, what was I saying? Everything is built the same depending on its function. So every wheat house or every crop house looks just like this one. Except for the first one I built, because that was that one's just a little different. That was just the design I came up with the first one. But for the most part, they all look like this. Each one of the wheat farms or crop farms. And in each cow or mob, passive mob farm for meat and leather and all that, looks just like the ones we saw up there. And then the, well, that's all I built so far. So, so yeah, <laughs> but that's the idea. So everything for a specific function. So when we bring over the uh, librarians or the armors and we build their house, it will all look the same. So you can identify where something is at and how it should be. So like, I ran into this issue where in some spots I can't get through because of it's not centered correctly. Kind of. So this pig is centered in the middle where I killed them, where they, where they get killed. But the building itself, uh, when I built it, went too far to the right. I don't, I don't know how I messed that up, but I did. And we do have an enchantment a house, which is um, in the distance over that way. You can probably walk over and take a look. Yeah, we'll take a look at that before we head out. Santa Lupe's house here. I believe she's still working on it. Yes, she is. And there is the um, enchantment house. Let's go across. We're gonna swing on these vines. Oh, I missed it. I thought I could get it. Oh well. Gotta work on my vine swinging tactics. There we go. And voila. So I thought that you could store many books on here, but that's not what you, you can't do that with this though. I think it's only a book and quill that can be stored. I thought you could store like the enchanted books. So for now we just throw them in here. Um, protection, yeah, nothing all that great. And we walk out here and yeah, that that's the tour. I believe I showed everything that we've done so far. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, but there is more to come, so please be on the lookout for the next episode. Uh, how am I going to get out here? This way. I don't feel like walking and fighting mobs. And we're going to come right up here. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, wait for the next episode, and remember to watch the streams. I will probably do that more often than posting episodes, uh, mainly because of time. Yeah, time constraint is preventing me from putting out episodes um, in a timely manner, um, but I will always stream, uh, not just Minecraft, but other games also. But if you like Minecraft, make sure you stay tuned. Until next time, guys, adios!